Hello, my name is Broad Eicher, and I want to talk about our project today, Moving Beyond the Temporal Bone Lab, Practicing Pediatric Temporal Bone Drilling Within the Pediatric Otolaryngology Clinic. This work was conducted at UPMC Children's Hospital Pittsburgh under the leadership of Dr. Jabor. For introduction, access to the temporal bone lab and cadaveric specimens is neither easy nor feasible. Um, it's typically not convenient for people to do it, um, and access to pediatric specimens is rare. We previously described the method for creating operable 3D printed T-bone models on a consumer level printer. With the emergence of operative 3D models, so comes the opportunity to stimulate pediatric otologic surgery outside the T-bone lab. The objective of this study was to design and evaluate a mobile drilling station that could be self-constructed and used for surgical practice in the clinic or other dedicated workspace. For methods, we designed and planned to build a mobile station with a cost of total total cost of less than $250. We researched multiple carts and stations and settled on a presentation cart um, listed below, given our specifications that had a narrow frame, four wheels, projecting board, uh, sufficient space to hold all of its components and be affordable than traditional carts. To minimize the mess from bone dust, an enclosure was built from plexiglass for suction. A canister was fashioned with Velcro to the top deck, and tubing was installed to be connected to clinic room suction. One drill system irrigation tubing and handpiece attachment was fit to an enema bag, which allows for water repletion, and an otologic drill was placed on the middle deck, and an instrument box for suctions was secured to the top deck. A power strip and shop vac were clean, for cleaning were secured with Velcro on the lower deck. The drill pedal on the lower deck can be moved to the floor for comfortable placement while drilling. We elected to 3D print a temporal bone holder to further reduce cost, and the final station was built within our financial target. Evaluation. The mobile drilling station was moved into a microscope containing pediatric clinic room where faculty and trainings were asked to um, try the drilling station um, on a 3D printed temporal bone model um, following the completion of evaluation survey on a four-point Likert scale. Overall, if you look at table one, um, this is just kind of a summarizing the cost of our materials. We had our presentation cart, um, the shop vac, hardware, plexiglass, and power strip, all totaling $245. Um, and if you look at mobile figure, uh, figure one, this is showing our cart and pictures of um, the drilling station. And then finally, there's a QR code that you can scan and watch a video demonstration of how the cart um, was used in practice. Overall, seven pediatric otolaryngology faculty, um, uh, otolaryngological um, members, three faculty, two fellows, two residents completed the evaluation. All felt the overall impression that the station was useful or extremely useful. All felt the station would be convenient or extremely convenient to use during a typical work week and rated it more convenient and all rated it more convenient than the temporal bone lab, which is off-site from Children's Hospital. The majority of like were likely or extremely likely to use it to teach or practice pediatric temporal bone surgery. All felt it would be helpful, extremely helpful for a training to drill a patient-specific model for case preparation. Free response comments were noted, uh, strengths of ease of use, access, convenience, and mobility, and they found it as a great resource for practice. There were no specific changes recommended for the drilling station. Respondents noted that ultimately the station's success depends on the quality of the 3D printed models for accurate practice and case preparation. In conclusion, this is the first mobile drilling station described in the literature and can be easily constructed, mobilized, and used in the pediatric otolaryngology clinic for dedicated surgical practice using 3D printed models. Thank you.